This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the enthalpy change of solution. We'll start the video by looking at the dissolving process. The dissolving of an ionic compound can be divided into two steps. In the first step, the solid ionic compound is broken down into gaseous ions. This is known as the lattice enthalpy. In the second step, the gaseous ions are hydrated by water molecules. This is known as the enthalpy of hydration. We'll look at hydration in more detail later in the video. Next, we look at the definition of enthalpy change of solution. The enthalpy change of solution is the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic substance dissolves in water to give a solution of infinite dilution. Here we have an equation that represents the enthalpy change of solution. In this example, we have one mole of solid sodium chloride, which dissolves to give us one mole of aqueous sodium ions and one mole of aqueous chloride ions. Next, we look at the enthalpy of hydration. The enthalpy of hydration is the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous ions dissolve in water to give a solution of infinite dilution. Enthalpies of hydration are always negative, which means they are exothermic. Here we have an equation for the enthalpy of hydration of one mole of gaseous sodium ions. On the right, we have the equation for the enthalpy of hydration of one mole of gaseous chloride ions. Note the change in state is from gaseous ions to aqueous ions. When a gaseous ion is hydrated, ion dipole forces occur between the gaseous ion and the dipoles of the water molecule. So here we can see the hydration of a sodium ion. Note that the negative end of the water molecule is attracted to the positive charge of the sodium ion. The formation of ion dipole forces releases energy so enthalpy of hydration values are always negative. The higher the charge on the ion and the smaller the ionic radius, the more exothermic the value of the enthalpy of hydration. In this slide, we'll look at an energy cycle that can be used to calculate the enthalpy change of solution. So according to this energy cycle, there are two ways to go from one mole of solid sodium chloride to one mole of aqueous sodium ions and one mole of aqueous chloride ions. The direct route is the enthalpy change of solution. The indirect route starts with a lattice enthalpy to produce gaseous ions. The gaseous ions are then hydrated to give one mole of aqueous sodium ions and one mole of aqueous chloride ions. If we apply Hess's law, we can see that the enthalpy change of solution is equal to the lattice enthalpy plus the sum of the enthalpy of hydration values of the gaseous ions. Lattice enthalpy values can be found in section 18 of the chemistry data booklet. Enthalpies of aqueous solutions can be found in section 19, and enthalpies of hydration can be found in section 20. So next we look at an example. Use the data in sections 18 and 20 to calculate the enthalpy change of solution of calcium fluoride. So here we have an energy cycle for the process. The lattice enthalpy of calcium fluoride is positive 2651 kilojoules per mole. Here we can see the enthalpy of hydration values for the calcium ion and the fluoride ion. Note that we need to multiply the value for the fluoride ion by 2 because there are 2 moles of gaseous fluoride ions that need to be hydrated. So next we'll input these values into the equation. And this gives us a value for the enthalpy change of solution of positive 27.0 kilojoules per mole. The solubility of an ionic compound depends on the magnitude of the lattice enthalpy compared to the sum of the enthalpies of hydration. If the lattice enthalpy is greater than the sum of the enthalpies of hydration, the enthalpy change of solution is endothermic. And if the lattice enthalpy is less than the sum of the enthalpies of hydration, then the enthalpy change of solution is exothermic. An exothermic value for the enthalpy change of solution favors the dissolving process. Whether an ionic compound with an endothermic value for the enthalpy change of solution is soluble or not depends on the change in entropy, which we'll look at in more detail in the next slide. So the change in entropy is also a factor that determines the solubility of an ionic compound. 
For example, sodium chloride has an enthalpy change of solution of positive 3.9 kilojoules per mole. Sodium chloride is soluble in water because the increase in entropy makes up for the endothermic value of the enthalpy change of solution. So in this equation, we can see that one mole of solid ionic compound dissolves to form two moles of aqueous ions. This is an increase in entropy because aqueous ions have a higher entropy than solids. So to summarize, ionic compounds with a positive value for the enthalpy change of solution are only soluble if the change in entropy is large enough to outweigh it. So we'll end the video by looking at a quick example. The dissolving of ammonium nitrate has an enthalpy change of solution of positive 25.7 kilojoules per mole and a change in entropy of positive 108 joules per kelvin mole. Determine the spontaneity of the dissolving process at 25 degrees C. So we'll use the equation delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Next, we input the values into the equation, which gives us a delta G value of negative 6.48 kilojoules per mole. So as we can see from the sign of the delta G, the reaction is spontaneous at 25 degrees C. So this shows that despite having an endothermic value for the enthalpy change of solution, the dissolving of ammonium nitrate is spontaneous at this temperature. This is because of the increase in entropy as the solid ammonium nitrate dissolves in water to form aqueous ions.